Hello, everyone, and welcome back to For You with your favorite two teachers. Oh my God! It's Reese and Laura. Oh yes, and we're back at high speed today. Oh, I'm Jean. Talking about something very, very exciting.、Mm -hmm. Highways with no speed limits. Huh? Welcome to Germany. But that does sound kind of dangerous to me, even though、mm. exciting. Well, if it's in Germany, I trust that it works because really they have great cars and German things just work well. Usually. Oh, that's true. Look、good、at me、point. stereotyping.、Uh -huh. At least it's a good stereotype. That's true. So this article is all about some special roads in Germany、mm -hmm. that do not have speed limits. We'll talk a bit more about that later. But、right. first, Laura, do you drive? Do you have a car? Do you like driving? I don't think I would like driving because I can't drive.、Mm. But considering that the traffic is kind of scary here in Taiwan,、mm -hmm. I don't think I want to learn how to drive here. But、yeah. back in Australia, I think I'm pretty okay because everybody. I think the roads are bigger, and it's like. Pretty safe, I guess. Yeah, you don't really need to drive in Taipei、yeah. or even in Taiwan. I feel because the public transport is so good. But yeah, in countries like Australia and the U.S., where there's、mm -hmm. just so much space between、yes. cities, it's really useful to have a、mm -hmm. car. Although I don't drive either,、mm -hmm. it would be good to、yeah. drive so that when you go on vacation, you can just hire a car. And experience that freedom. But you do have a driver's license? No. 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 Oh, really? I can ride a scooter. Yeah, but I okay. Do not drive cars. Okay.、Mm. Well, let's get into today's article, which which is all about high-speed driving. <gasps> Yay! Reading. Highways with no speed limits. Welcome to Germany. You look out of your window and see a car speeding by. You know it's going more than 200 kilometers per hour as it passes a police car. The police car does nothing, as if the car that just passed is doing something perfectly normal. That's because today you're on a German autobahn, where speed limits almost don't exist. In Germany, 60% of the country's autobahns have had no speed limit since they were built in the 1930s. Although there's a recommended speed of 130 kilometers per hour, this doesn't have to be followed. Speed restrictions can, however, be set where risks are present, such as around areas with ongoing road repairs. This means that cars can often fly along highways as fast as they like. The desire to go fast is thought to be one reason why autobahns are like this. The car industry in Germany. Is bigger than those in most other European countries. It's believed that local companies need something to justify building fast cars. So it could be said that autobahns were built for going fast. So today's article begins with something very exciting. Nice. Imagine. You look out of your <gasps> window and see a car speeding by. Zoop. You know it's going more than 200 kilometers per hour as it passes a police car. Okay, so before we continue with our story, <laughs> so exciting. Let's talk about our first vocabulary word, and it's an easy one.、Mm. You've probably heard this before, or at least you've seen its shorter version, km. Nah. A kilometer or kilometer is simply 1,000 meters, with one meter being 100 centimeters. These are units of measurement, and we use them to talk about how far or close something is, or how long something is. A kilometer isn't too far; you could probably walk it in about ten minutes. Hmm. hmm. Here's an example sentence: Taipei is almost ten thousand kilometers <gasps> away from London. It's a long way away. Very far. Okay, we're looking at the text. Oh, it's just a. 想象这样子一个情景，你往窗外看，然后看到一台车入超速经过，你知道，当它经过一台警车，哇，它竟然是超过两百时速哦！这里时速就是多久 ，OK 的，就是 kilometers per hour，OK、okay?。
kilometer 是什么呢？就是公里哦。其实如果我们看到 kilo， it's like one thousand， 就是有千的意思。So one kilometer equals one thousand meters。哦，这好像有点数学哦。那考考你 ，kilogram 是一千个 gram，、嗯、就是克，那就是多少？就是一公斤啦。Okay. Well, my friend lost a lot of weight by just walking one kilometer every day after work.、Mm. I think she lost like ten kilograms. That's a good way of doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So you may have noticed that we have different ways of pronouncing this word. Yeah. In American English, they say kilometer. Yeah. Whereas in British English, we say kilometer. kilometer. So both of those are okay. Okay, back to the article and back to the story. <gasps> so we've just seen this car fly past,、mm-hmm. and the police car does nothing,、huh? as if the car that just passed is doing something perfectly normal.、Hmm. Well, maybe they are in Germany doing、yes. something normal. So what's normal? Well, normal is an adjective, and it means regular, not special,、mm-hmm. or just as we expected. If something is normal, that means it's the way that we thought it would be. If you have a normal day at school, that means nothing crazy happened. It was just a regular day. Normal isn't bad or good. It's normal. <laughs> we can add ly to normal to make the adverb normally,、mm. which we can use to talk about things that usually happen.、Yeah. Here's an example sentence with normal. This much traffic between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. is normal. People are on their way to work. Oh, okay. Probably there's a traffic jam during that time,、mm. rush hour. Okay. 但是回到课文提到说，哎，刚刚他超速啦，已经超过了两百时速，但警车什么都没有做，哎，似乎这台车在做一个啊，在平常也不过的事情喽。这里我们看到 as if 哒哒哒哒哒，就是似乎好像如何如何。比方像是 Don't talk to me as if I were three year old， 就是不要把我当作，就是好像我只有三岁。OK， or I stared at him as if he was crazy， 就是可能有人做了一件很疯狂的事情，就看一直盯着他，好像他做一个很疯狂的事情哦。那我们来看一下 normal， 在这里也提到的单字，就是普通的、平常的，是个形容词。比方像是哦，一个平凡无奇、正常的工作日，就是 a normal working day。或者你可以用 it's normal for 什么什么 to。比方像是 it's normal for couples to argue now and then。真的，有时候情侣或夫妻之间有点偶尔发生口角，好像还蛮正常。Or don't come into my room. It's super messy right now, but that's actually quite normal. <laughs> <laughs> A messy room is normal. Yeah, for me, for that、you. is. Yeah. Okay. Well, back to the article and it explains why this thing is normal、okay. in Germany. That's because today you're on A German autobahn, autobahn. where speed limits almost don't exist.、Hmm. Well, let's find out a bit more about this word "limit." So the article talked about a speed limit, or the German roads lacking speed limits. So a limit is a noun, and it's something like a point or a level of something that you cannot go past or exceed. Limits can also be called restrictions, which we'll talk about later. Limits are often there to keep us safe or to stop bad things from happening. On roads, speed limits stop cars from going too fast, except for the autobahn. We can create limits for anything, though. If you're playing a game, you might have a time limit. That means there's a certain amount of time that you have to play the game, and you can't take longer. Here's an example sentence with limit. We had to put a limit on the number of people in the building. Too many people wanted to come in, and it got too busy. 
，哎，所以他为什么没被警察抓呢？那是因为今天你是在德国的高速公路上，所以这边速度限制并不存在哦。我们来看一下 autobahn 这个字，它其实是德文哦，意思就是高速公路。那在德国啦、瑞士还有奥地利等等，哎，就是会使用这个德语的国家，其实都会用 autobahn 来称高速公路哦，嗯、蛮有趣的。那 limit 这个字其实就是限制啊，上限，它是一个名词。You know, I try to set a limit on how much I spend on clothes. That's a good idea. 真的，我都会设一个限制，才不会花太多钱买衣服哦。那如果要说超过哦上限，我们可以说 go over or exceed a limit. OK， 就是超过上限。啊、uh, ，那如果像是哎，如果要比赛一个比赛的时候，你可能好奇他有没有想说有没有设限几岁以上以下啦？那你看一下这个句子 ，There's no age limit for applicants， 就是申请者几岁都可以，没有设限。Very good. Limits are there for our benefit、Yay. usually. Okay, back to the article.、Mm-hmm. In Germany, sixty percent of the country's autobahns have had no speed limit since they were built in the nineteen thirties. Wow! Wow! So for almost one hundred years, these roads、wow. have had no speed limit. Nice. <laughs> That sounds like fun.、Mm-hmm. Kind of dangerous. I know.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure there's a good reason. Well, the article tells us more. It says although there's a recommended speed of 130 kilometers per hour, this doesn't have to be followed.、Oh. Okay, so it's just a recommendation.、Yes. It's recommended.、Mm. So if something is recommended, that means it's something you should probably do.、Mm. Someone else is telling you it's a good idea, but you don't actually have to do it. So, if the tomato pasta is the、oh. most recommended dish at the restaurant, then that means many people like it and think you should try it too.、Mm-hmm. But you can order whatever you like. I'll have the pumpkin pasta.、Mm. Okay, 来，我们来看一下，在德国百分之六十的高速公路其实都没有速度限制。哎。嗯，因为呢，他们是在一九三零年代建立的。虽然呢，有建议时速一百三，但是这。不，不是一定都必须要遵守哦。所以我们有提到建议，就是用 recommend 这个动词，或是有推荐的意思。Hmm. Do you have any good restaurants to recommend me in Lots. Beijing? Lots. Beijing.、Uh, Taipei. Taipei. Why am I saying Beijing? 对呀、啊，北京我其实没去过，但是台北有超多。<laughs> I'll take you there. All right. Well, the article continues. It says speed restrictions can, however,、mm-hmm. be set where risks are present, such as around areas with ongoing road repairs.、Oh. Ah, well, that's good to hear. That、mm. you can't just speed along the entire. I know、way. that's kind of that's scary. Well, there are some restrictions.、Mm-hmm. This word is similar to limit. A restriction is a law or measure or rule that limits your ability to do something. Restrictions are often legal. That means it's against the law to break a restriction, and you should listen carefully to them. The verb to restrict means to set a limit on something. Restrictions are again often there to keep us safe and are quite important. Here's an example sentence. There are restrictions on how many students are allowed in the swimming pool at one time for safety reasons. Hmm. Sure. Okay. So, 然而呢，这个超速限制会设定在嗯，有可能有危险存在的地方。举例来说，有些持续在进行维修的道路的区域。Hmm. So restrictions are good. Would you tell us tell us more about what restriction means? Of course. 我们来看一下 restriction 这个名词，就是限制。那如果你要用动词表示设限，我们可以用 put or place restrictions on something. For example, new restrictions have been placed on the purchase of guns. 那我们再来看一下还有什么样的 restriction， 比方像是 import or export restrictions， 就是进口或是出口的限制，或者是 currency restrictions， 就是货币的限制。
。另外呢，可能还会有什么 speed restrictions， 就是本科一直在提到的速度的限制，还有 parking restrictions， 就是指停车的限制。Another word to talk about is the word ongoing. This is an adjective, and ongoing is a word that you can probably guess.、Mm -hmm. If something is ongoing, it's going on. <laughs> That means it has been happening for some time, and it is still happening. We can use this word to talk about world events or situations that are still happening.、Yeah. For example, the war between countries in the Middle East is still ongoing.、Oh. Here's an example sentence: The conversation about removing the king from power、Ooh. is ongoing. Okay, ongoing. 大家应该从字面上就可以有点猜出它的意思，就是进行中的。Okay, 它是个形容词。比方像是持续进行的调查 ，an ongoing investigation, or an ongoing process， 持续的过程。Or an ongoing negotiation, 正在进行的协商或者是谈判。嗯、um, ，我们来看一下整句的用法喽。There are a number of ongoing difficulties with the project. Uh oh.、Mm, good sentence. Well, back to the article. More about the autobahn.、Okay. It tells us that this means that cars can often fly along <laughs> highways as fast as they like. Wow, that does sound quite、mm -hmm. fun. I'm a bit worried about、Same. driving on an autobahn myself.、Mm -hmm. I think I would stick to the 130 kilometer speed limit、okay. recommendation. Oh, see, yeah,、mm. you sh you should. And then the article continues with the desire to go fast、mm -hmm. is thought to be one reason why autobahns are like this. Oh, so people just like going fast.、Mm. That brings us to a word. Desire, desire is a noun, though it can also be a verb. And a desire is something that you really, really want. <laughs> desire is that feeling of really wanting something so bad.、Oh. Sometimes I have a strong desire for chocolate. Mm, mm. Same. You can have a desire for anything,、True. though we can often use this word to talk about the feelings of want that to. Adults might have <gasps> for each other.、Ooh. Here's an example sentence: Audrey's greatest desire was to lead her country toward a more peaceful future. Oh, ah, so this also means that cars are often driven on roads that let them fly at full speed. Wow, it sounds like the French are driving fast. Oh, let's look at the example. Desire 在本课其实是当做名词来用，就是有渴望的意思啦。可能像是 a desire to do something， 比方像是你很渴望赢得比赛 ，a desire to win the race。或者呢，你可以用形容词来表示你有多渴望，就是你可以用 great or strong desire， 就是很强烈的渴望。如果你要表达你对什么东西非常的渴望，你很想要什么，你可以用 show or express your desire。另外，在口语上，其实你们猜猜看它的意思。我们常常会说 ，Oh, I have no desire to cause any trouble。那是什么意思呢 ？Well, it simply means I don't want to cause any trouble。就是说啊，我我不是想要惹麻烦这样的意思。另外呢 ，desire， 刚刚 Reese 老师又说，它可以当做动词来用，同样也有渴望跟希望的意思哦。像是 I desire to meet my favorite actor， 玄彬 in person。我真的超爱玄彬的。So the article continues with the car industry in Germany is bigger than those in most other. European countries.、Hmm. It's true. A lot、yeah. of famous cars come from Germany, like Volkswagen. Okay. Hmm, I can see that. This is actually, can be found in the German car industry. Um, it is actually bigger than most European countries. 
。这里呢，其实它用到的是 that 或是 those 代替前面提过的名词哦。OK， 就是呢，以避免有重复性，一直提到某一个字。那 that 是代替单数的名词 ，those 是代替复数名词，其实就等于 the， 然后再接名词的复数哦。这样子的用法非常常是用在比较的句型当中，所以课文的 those 是代替什么呢？前面提到的 car industries in other European countries。我们来举个例子好了，嗯，像是 my experience is different from that of my friends。这里的 that 就是代替前面提到的 experience， 我在比较哦。或者是 In my opinion, the best wines are from those, uh, are those from France. 这里的 those 就是代替前面提到的 wines. Mm, mm. I like wine. Right. Hmm. But wait until you're old enough. <laughs> okay. The article is back. It says it's believed that local companies need something to justify. Building fast cars,、mm. so it could be said that auto bans were built for going fast. Wow! Oh, that's an interesting theory. <laughs> Germany has fast cars, so、yeah. people need somewhere to drive them. I guess so. We have a very good word here. It's the word justify.、Mm. Justify is a verb, and to justify means to show or prove something to be true or reasonable. If you say something that other people don't believe、mm. or think is a good idea,、mm. you can try to justify it to them by explaining your reasons. We often use justify to talk about people trying to explain their <laughs>、yes. bad behavior.、Mm. If you do something weird, wrong, or crazy, but you're doing it for a good reason. You should justify yourself. Hmm. Okay. 没错，我们看回这个文章，他说，据信呢，当地的公司需要某些东西来怎么样，使建造快速的车子怎么样是正当的、哦。他想要合理化这个行为哦。所以呢，这个德国的高速公路也可以说是为了这个行驶快速而建立的啦。Justify 其实就是指证明或是正当什么什么东西，就是某一个行为，你觉得是合理的，是 OK 的这样的意思。它是个动词哦。嗯、mm. ，Well, that's the end of the article today about the autobuns,、mm -hmm. but I believe we have more to discuss tomorrow.、Right. Let's go over to our for you chat question. For you chat. So today's for you chat question: What's the fastest you've ever travelled in a vehicle? How did it feel? I think our answers are probably going to be the same.、Mm, I think so too. The airplane. Airplanes are the fastest, most common transport. Know, but you know what? I get airsick. Really? Easily. Oh, that's a yeah, shame. Yeah, I know. Do you? Are, are you comfortable? I'm okay traveling in planes、mm -hmm. or boats or trains. I'm pretty good. Well, have you travelled in anything very fast that's not an aeroplane? Maybe、um, Shinkansen in Japan.、Oh, it's kind of like high-speed rail. Yeah, right. It's super quick.、Mm -hmm. I think those are some of the fastest、yeah. trains in the world.、Ooh. I've been on a lot of the Gaotiers in China,、mm -hmm. like the、Ooh. one from Beijing to Shanghai. That one is really quick. Wow. Very very fun to ride,、nice. and you can't even feel. How、What? fast you're moving! Really, it's so cool. Sounds like fun.、But、Taiwan has its own Gaotian, and that、yeah. one goes pretty fast too,、mm. right? From Taipei to Gaoxiong in just one hour. Yeah, so convenient.、Mm. Well, you guys can think about this too. What's the fastest that you've ever、mm -hmm. traveled? Maybe you've been inside of a high-speed jet or <laughs> a superpower muscle car. That sounds quite fun.、Right. Well,、mm -hmm. we'll be back tomorrow with more about the autobuns. But for now, we're saying goodbye. <gasps> We'll see you then. Bye. Vocabulary review. Kilometer, kilometer. The family's car broke down eight kilometers from home, which was just a little too far to walk. Normal. Steve was just a normal teenage boy. Who liked sports, video games, and hanging out with friends? Limit. 
There was a limit on how much John could spend on his credit card, so he couldn't buy the shoes he wanted. Restriction. The government placed a restriction on the number of visitors allowed into the country because of the virus. Ongoing. The writer just finished a book in her ongoing series. This is the third book, and she plans to write six. Desire. Ryan had a strong desire to buy ice cream, but he was on a diet, so he stopped himself. 智慧小补帖 Recommend. Justify. <音樂>以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如遇索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。